And so we're going to work. In the beginning, I just want to review that basic guard pull. So Liam's got the cross face and underhook. I can't do anything until I get my right arm back. Okay, so this inside frame always has to be back between you and them. So you have to move your body, bump a little bit till you get it back. Once I have it back, lift up for a second, Liam. When I, when I frame, you guys know I want to use this part of my arm, not this part. Okay, if you start using your wrist or your lower wrist, it's much weaker. And the better they get at killing the frames, the less it's going to work and it's going to hurt. So when I apply pressure, it's always right here. So if I feel like he's getting choking me, get a good choke. So you're too high. Yes. Now drop it. Good. So if I feel like he's going to choke me, I'm going to bridge, do an internal rotation with my arm, grab, and then sit back. And now there's no way he can choke me. Choke. I'm good, right? It's not going to be comfortable, but I can defend myself. So if you can't break a connection, you get a better connection. And the key is getting my arm real tight to his neck, right? So that's where I bridge in there and grab, and now I'm here. And now he won't be able to choke me and I can just survive it, right? Now when I go to go pull the guard, at that moment, I touch his hip with that part of my forearm, right? I bridge into him, and my knee goes right here by his hip, where his hip connects his body. Not down here, not up here. Do you see that joint where that space is right there? And once I feel my knee touch my elbow, then I know I've got it. Lift up for a second, and I want this. Right, so I want to go as deep as I can. So if I can get my knee all the way up to here, I'm going to do that, right? The purpose of that bridge is to just hold him, to create space, and, hold, and the purpose of your frame is to hold him there. So your frame holds weight, and then you move away from the frame, okay? So what's happening, just give me dead weight here. Yeah. So as I bridge, I want to bridge this way, okay? Not up, but into him this way. And now, as I lay my hips back down, I'm holding him in place with my elbow for a second. That's what gives me the space to bring my knee in, okay? For that brief moment, right? It doesn't take much. If you look here, it doesn't take a huge amount of space for me to get my knee in there. So I bridge, I hold him in place for a second, and get here. Once you're here, you don't need this hand across the back anymore. You don't want to hold yourself to him anymore. So now I'm going to come here to the front and use long frames as I extend my, myself away, okay? Keep going, another minute or so, back and forth. The next part, right? So we're here, cross face and underhook. And now while I'm here the whole time, I've got to worry about him mounting me. So I don't want to go from a bad position to a worse position. So I would never be here with my feet down. This one is always up, okay? And what's important is I'm touching him and I'm pressed up against Liam so I have good contact. And I can close my eyes and I can feel when he's going to go to mount me. And I can feel it with my knee. And as he goes to mount me, I'm bringing my knee like a magnet. My knee comes towards my elbow, right? So just watch. As he moves, you know, that knee just fits into that spot, okay? And so now with that knee up there, there's two ways he's going to mount. He's going to bring the knee across my belly. Yep. Or he's going to turn and throw a leg over. Yeah. Right now, we're just going to deal with the knee across the belly first, right? So mount. Good. We'll go back. So I'm here. And the moment I feel him go to do that, that's when I make my bridge. Let's make a little bridge, and then there's my escape. So that form of defense works really, really good. <clears throat> when we do it in an artificial construct like a drill like this, then sometimes what people will do is they'll start to get their hip up real high here. So instead of just sliding their knee on, they're going to they're gonna try and bring their knee up and over, right? So Liam's here. This doesn't happen so much in a live match because of what I'm about to show you. But when we do a drill like this, right, he knows if he just goes to put his knee on, I'm going to get my guard back. So he'll start to get his hip up way up here. Yeah, like that, right? Almost like he's getting up here to put his knee on. Good. When I feel that, go. You just want to bridge to 12 o'clock. Okay, so the angles are always right here. Oopa angles. Once he gets his hip up that high, he's very vulnerable to that bridge. Okay, so if you start to feel their hips raise up like that, then you want to do the, add that bridge in to keep them honest, right? Now the next one, this is, should be reviewed from last Friday, he's here, and I mess up, so he gets his knee on my belly. So at this point, there's no more, there's no point worrying about this. Now I've got to focus my attention on the next battle. So go ahead, go back, and I want him to mount me all the way, knee all the way across the mount. Good. Go back. One more time. 
Good. Go back. And again. Okay. So you can see what I'm doing with my leg. Because there's different ways you can grip with, the, with your arm, right? When I originally learned this a long time ago, is that you hit and throw this in, and he does is grab the handle. So he'd sit on it and grab the handle here, right? And then he just feeds it this way. So if Liam's on top, he's trying to defend the mount, right? But my hand is here as well. So if I miss and Liam gets that knee on the belly, as he goes, keep just mount. Yeah. I can just feed that between my legs, right? The grip I'm using is the same. I'm doing the same thing, but I'm just using my elbow. But watch what I'm doing with my legs. So go slow. So and you just continue the motion. And I try and block that, but I failed. See, I'm moving my knee. So the motion is like this, underneath and through, right? So I'm trying to block it, but I miss. Okay, so now I'm down there. See, and now I'm ready to. Feed that other leg right through. Okay, keep going another minute. Let's look at this. The first line of defense is that knee, right? Super important. Second line of defense, he gets his knee onto my belly and he's mounting on. Now I focus on this leg. Okay, but I miss that too, right? So he goes right to mount. And as soon as he mounts, I'm going to do a different escape. Okay, so go back. So you don't change anything. You just mount me the way you would. Okay, go. Good. One time. Good, go back. That's going to be my escape. Then I'm going to always take him the direction he was just at. Because that's where he's going to be weak. Okay, so watch. As he mounts me, I want to switch my attention to this leg. I lost it. I feel that leg come through and his knees start to clamp down. Drop that. Yeah, so I know he's mounted me. He's a, I'm immediately going to roll him this way. His hand is out here where he can base that way, right? But his arm here is trapped. And so what I'm doing, you can't feel it, see it, but what I'm doing is I'm using my head and my body weight to trap the arm. Pull your arm out. So his arm's trapped. So go back. So once I realize I've lost this leg, I make that leg, this arm heavy, and then I'm going to bridge right here. And it's an easy roll as long as you have that angle right. The only thing he has to post to stop my roll is his foot. And so you can add the foot trap there if you want. So he mounts, I'm trying to defend here. I miss that, I go here, I trap that foot right away. And then I rotate my knee out. Now try and get your leg out. Try and get your arm out. Not heavy enough. Try and get your arm out. Yeah. And now, easy bridge. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell for frequent updates because we're updating this every week. And make sure you comment and like and share our videos. We appreciate it and we definitely try and respond to all the comments. And if you like what we're doing and you like the material, check out SPG University, SPGU. Uh, and you're going to see a ton more uh, in, in much greater depth than what you see here on YouTube. Thank you very much.